would be good for us to go out one night a week where it's just you and me. I think you it would be helpful. You've got to be helping. kidding me. What? You just checked out that girl's butt. Do you think she knows it? Well, I don't know how you could be so calm knowing that our husbands are out there chasing tail all over town. Shh, keep it down. Relax. Here's how I see it. Rick and Fred are like a couple of domesticated cats scratching at the door. <laughs> And then the first time you let them out, they are so paralyzed with fear, they turn around, bolt right back into the house. No, okay, but we're not talking about cats here. We are talking about dogs. <laughs> what choice do we have? I'm giving you a hall pass. A what? So in this film, mm -hmm. your character takes drastic measures to save her marriage. Yes, she does. Tell me what a hall pass is. A hall pass is one week off from marriage where you can do anything you want without any consequences and you never have to speak about what you did. Now, I don't know if I can deal with that. Would you it's a horrible that? idea. <laughs> it's a Would awful. Would you want that? Would you ever do no, that? No, I don't want it. I'm not giving it. It's a great idea for a movie. It is a horrible idea when applied to your actual marriage. Now, your character realizes that the hall pass is actually a double-sided double ticket. Yes. So tell me about that. Well, I think that's the part of that you're not seeing in the previews, which is that the women get a hall pass in this movie, too. Christina Applegate and I have a very good time playing beach volleyball with some very handsome shirtless men, and then we drink beer and we have a dance party. So, <laughs> just want to say, there's something for the ladies in this movie, too. How fun was it on set? I mean, it had to be a blast. I mean, I know you it come was. from the office, so, I mean, you're used to it, but... Tell me about how was it working with everyone. When you're like a little kid, and at least when I was a little kid, and I was back in Missouri, and I would daydream about what it must be like to make a movie, I would just imagine that you're like laughing all day, and that it's super fun and super easy. It's just like a party. Well, that's not really what movie making is, but that is what making a Farrelly Brothers movie is. Oh, wow. It is absolutely the best time. It doesn't feel like work. They keep this really loose energy on the set, and you play games between takes. They're really fun to work for. Now, let's talk about some less extreme measures to rev up. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't think the hall pass is the ticket, but uh -huh. there are some other ways. Can you tell me? Do you have any you advice? You know, well, I think that there are some ways that are, you know, there's an element of the hall pass that's really smart. The, the infidelity part is the part I would take out of the hall pass. Yeah. But I think to encourage your husband or your partner to go off and go on a golf weekend with his friends, <laughs> he can drink some scotch, they can just be dudes. Yeah. I think that's important Doesn't because I think that men do get into a marriage and they friend. end up well, you sort of losing the best that masculine identity. Women. So I think, likewise for women, if the man can stay home with the kids and let the woman go off for two nights to a nice resort where she can sleep, since women don't get a lot of sleep, <laughs> um, where she doesn't have to do any dishes or cook any meals, where she is the queen and she's with her girlfriends and they get pedicures and things. Like if once a year you give each other that, I think it renews you as an individual and you come back to the relationship feeling sexier, feeling a little more like yourself. Because I think what happens is you get so entrenched in the role of mom and dad that you kind of forget to be man and woman. And I think that's also a little bit of the story of this film. Wow.